Hey guys, this is Juan Saval again. <clears throat> let me start off by saying, uh, I know you guys can't see me, but let me start off by saying, uh, Juan, welcome to the channel. Um, I don't know how to turn this camera to flip, so forgive me for that. But anyways, I'm actually here at work working with one of my patients and um, I'm taking a, a little break. Not a little break, but I came to take my baby out. But you could go pee. I don't know where the heck she went. Oh, there she is. There she is. Anyways, let me just say welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you. I have a video. I'm going to take a video of my truck, which is a 2017 F-250. Um, there we go. Um, just to be completely honest with you guys, this isn't a Lariat, this is an XL, this is a work, a work truck, a work truck that I uh, that I bought for a very, very good price, that's the reason I jumped on it, and then of course I started adding things here and there just so I could, uh, just so I could look nice, I don't want it to look like a work truck, too, too much, or at least a weak work truck, but it is a 6.7. It is a 6.7 uh, diesel engine, and I'm getting when I'm towing about 79 miles a gallon, roughly. I don't tow too often, too much, but I get about 79, seven or nine, and if I'm kind of lucky, I get about 10 miles to 11. Now, when I was pulling my fifth wheel from Oklahoma over here to South Texas, Corpus Christi, Texas, actually. I was getting about eight or nine, but there was a whole bunch of hills and all this good stuff. Now, where I bought my fifth wheel, kind of, I don't want to badmouth them, but they knew what they were doing when, this is my first fifth wheel, and they knew what they were doing when they uh, kind of screwed me over. But anyways, let me just kind of introduce to you my, my, my truck. I haven't named her just yet, you know, but I did buy her brand new about two years ago, and to this point I haven't figured out what to name her anyways here she is it's just a no, 2017 white I don't know why but I just I just love the way it looks I honestly do I, I don't know what it is about these trucks I just love the way they, they look the way it tows oh my god it's ridiculous and I didn't bring my key so I'm sorry about that I did put a tow box and a 100 gallon tank diesel auxiliary tank to it because when I do travel to California I will be damned if I'm gonna spend four or five dollars in diesel just because you know if I have to take a trip or come back to I don't know Arizona or somewhere else uh, to fill up I'll fill up the 100 gallon tank and my 48 gallon tank that comes with a truck and I'll have 148 gallons, so rough guesstimation, probably like a thousand miles. A little, probably a little bit more than a thousand miles um, to be in and out. Anyways, so sorry, just good. I, I do private duty nursing. I, I'm a I'm a private duty nurse, and I enjoy it. The the one on one with my patients and all that. Uh, anyways, so here we go. It's just nice little regular f-250 i mean like i said it tows amazingly and i did put this pump it's a gpi here let me see gpi pump with a filter of course it's an aluminum aluminum fuel tank you know but i just wanted to make sure that that the diesel that goes into my truck is going to be uh, is, it's not going to have anything into it it does have i believe a 0 0.05 uh, micron is a 0 0.05 micron or 10 micron i'm sorry it's a 10 micron Let's see if i can get it for you guys it's a 10 micron so you know it, it gets the specs out hopefully uh so when i bought this truck it didn't come with these nice wheels. 
Uh, so I kind of had to put them on. Larry, I bought them off my neighbor. He has a, a Lariat. And uh, so I bought them for a thousand bucks, which is not bad. People ask me, why didn't you just go with a, a new set of rims, a new set of tires instead of just using the Ford? Well, I love these. I love the way they look. They look awesome. I mean, you can't really beat that look. Now I'm gonna start. I'm gonna need to buy some more uh, tires for it because they're kind of wasting away. And that side step. I also put that side step because uh, it didn't come with it. Now these badges I bought them off off of Houston in Houston from some guy that was selling them off of Craigslist, and I think I paid like 20 bucks for them. You know, because I didn't want it to say XL. You know, so. I just bought the one that says Larry Edwins. Uh, it's a fake Larry It doesn't matter. Nobody knows, just me. And now you guys. So please don't say anything to anybody else. But anyways, it's just a regular Super Duty. Now, people, some, my friends call me cheap. I'm not going to lie to you. People, my friends call me cheap. That I'm cheap. I'm cheap. I'm cheap. I'm not a cheap person. I just don't like to spend money unnecessarily if I don't have to. Like this bumper right here. This is a steel, it's a steel craft. And really quick, this is for coronavirus. You know, my friend Peggy, she does them and, you know, she's, you know, she only charges like $2 for them, something like that. So she put one in my truck, you know, just to kind of show support, which is awesome. But anyways, going back to, I'm not a cheap person. I just don't like to pay more for stuff that I don't absolutely have to, if I don't have to. You know, so this bumper right here, the front one and the back one, and I'll show you the rear one in a bit. Here, let me just go, just so I can show it to you. And I'm sorry that my camera's kind of moving too much. You know, I'm kind of walking with it, and I'm using my iPhone this time. So, anyways, here's the bumpers. Both bumpers are steel craft. And, don't look at my license plates. But, you know, and it has the, of course, the reverse, whatever the heck it's called. Anyways, so, anyways, I paid less than a thousand dollars for both of them, for both of them. That's, that's actually a very good deal, you know, for bumpers like this, because the front one was like a thousand, two hundred or something like that, and the back one was like almost four hundred, but because it had a little scratch, and I'm going to, let me show it to you, this scratch right here, uh, blah, 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 right, there's a scratch, I don't know if you can kind of see it, just because of that scratch. You know, I mean, they dropped it down more than 50%. I took it. I took that deal. You know, I'm not going to lie. Anyways, I'm not cheap. I'm just semi-frugal. Um, also, in this truck, because I do have a fifth wheel, uh, pull my trailer. I put, let me see if I can show it to you. A turnover ball. BMW Geek Stack. And I believe this is a 30,000 30, pound. You know, and if you guys don't know how to use this, uh, let me see if I can do this. You see this little lever? Nope. This little lever right here it comes up and, and out, you know, unlocks it, lock, unlocks it from the bed, which is right there. Anyway, so it's a 30,000 pounds. My fifth wheel is 16,000 pounds, I believe. You can hear my baby in the background. You can see her. Anyways, there she is in all her glory. <sighs> there she is. Ah, you can't really, can't do the whole thing. But anyways, so what I was trying to tell you guys is this. I bought this because I want to start traveling. I do. I've always loved these trucks, but I was unable to afford them for a very long time because I just wasn't making too much money. Now I'm a nurse, I'm able to do this, and I want to experience it because, you know, tomorrow's never guaranteed. We're going to live and we're going to die, and we're going to take it from there. But I'm trying to live and I'm trying to do what I need to do so I could kind of get the heck out of Texas um, and just go travel 
and I'll try to get the next video of my fifth wheel. I do have it back in Harlingen, Texas. Harlingen, Texas. H A R L I N G E N. Uh, Texas is like 32 minutes from the border of Mexico over there by, by Brownsville, Texas. That's where I'm originally from. And that's where I have my fifth wheel at my parents' place. So I don't know when I'm going to go back down there. I'm living in a mobile home that I uh, bought a long time ago. And I rented it out to myself. Well, I didn't rent it out. Pretty much I gave it to her. But uh, that's for another video. So I'm remodeling it at the moment, you know, and uh, trying to get it. Either A, red for rental, B, sell it. Because I, I, pretty much the only reason I'm kind of stuck here in Corpus Christi is because of that rental, uh, that, that, that mobile home. And I really am thinking of letting it go, selling it cheap just so I could get the heck out. But we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, I will talk to you in a while. I will post this up on YouTube and Facebook. Look, there goes another one. What a beauty. Yes, I do love these trucks. All right, guys, see you later.